Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog, and this time I'm taking a look at the Hexbug Robotic Spider Kit by Vex Robotics, which is a very cool toy that kids ages 8 and up get to try and assemble themselves. In fact, it consists of over 350 different pieces, and you have to build it just like you would a Lego playset. It's also one of those STEM toys which are very, very popular at the moment. So if you're not familiar with STEM toys, they're basically toys that aim to give kids a good grounding in the STEM fields. And the word STEM itself is simply an acronym meaning science, technology, engineering, and math. So if you wanted to encourage your child in some of these areas, you could look for a toy like this to give them and it might help them to not only develop an interest in the STEM subjects, but it could also help to build their confidence up a little bit. And this hex bug in particular is excellent with teaching problem solving because it can get somewhat confusing at times when you're trying to put it together. The main reason for that, I think, is that the hex bug has certain parts that look almost exactly the same as other parts, but are in fact different. And that means that even though there's a very good instruction uh, booklet with this set that just goes on and on, page after detailed page, every step uh, outlined just as clearly as can be, it's still very easy to confuse different parts. For example, there are these little angled pieces that uh, are so easy to confuse because two pieces that look almost exactly alike are actually angled just slightly differently. And if you use the wrong parts when completing a particular section of the project, you're just going to end up with a huge mess. In fact, you'll run out of parts and the thing won't even come together properly. So do be careful with the instructions. They are very clear, but with parts that look so much alike, it is easy to get confused. Luckily, the parts are numbered on this set, so if you look very carefully, you can easily distinguish which is which, and it will help you a whole lot. Now, with all of that being said, I found the hex bug to be tremendous fun to put together. It only took me a couple hours to do it. Um, now, I think it might have taken quite a bit longer had I not had a little bit of previous experience with similar builds. So I would say give yourself anywhere from an hour and a half up to maybe three or four hours for this, depending on whether or not you run into any snags along the way. In my case, I did have a couple of minor missteps, but I was able to find and rectify them pretty quickly, and overall, I just really, really enjoyed putting this thing together. So, once the hex bug is fully and properly assembled, then you get to start playing with it in this whole different way. Uh, there's actually a small remote control that I'll put a photo up for you, and it allows you to walk the hex bug either forwards or backwards, and also to turn its head left or right. And there's even an autonomous mode where the bug can walk around uh, basically without any control inputs from you whatsoever. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have too much luck getting this mode to work properly. He just seemed to get kind of confused and just walked around in circles. But still, controlling it myself was really a whole lot of fun, and it intrigued me to learn that there are something like 64 different ways that you can configure the motors and the sensor and the brain on this thing, so who knows what a really clever kid might be able to come up with. In any case, the Hexbug is a fun and challenging toy that seems to also offer quite a bit of versatility insofar as the ways that you can play with it. Uh, now I should mention you will need to supply three AA batteries for the main body or the brain of the Hexbug. And the remote control itself takes a 9 volt battery, but luckily that one is included with the set. And I think that's where we'll leave off for now. Overall, the Hexbug set is a whole lot of fun, and I do think that it will entertain and possibly even somewhat educate kids that have an interest in these kinds of toys, and by that I mean building toys. Uh, so if your child enjoys this sort of a set, it is worth picking up, and even adults can have a lot of fun with this one. I know that I did. Now, don't forget to check out the complete written review at the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog, and I'd love to hear from you in the discussion section below if you have any questions or comments whatsoever. I do try to answer every last question, even if it sometimes takes me a few days to get to them all. Finally, 
If you liked this video and found it useful, please give it a like or a share, and you're certainly welcome to subscribe if you enjoy this sort of content. I don't operate according to a specific or regular schedule, but I do always have various fun toys and gadgets coming along from companies like Best Buy Canada and Hasbro, especially at this particular time of year. It's so busy right now with the lead up to Christmas, and I've just got a ton of stuff on deck to review. So as always, this is Leo Bond signing off and saying thanks everyone for watching, and have an excellent day.